Hello and welcome back. In this uh, video, uh, we're going to look at data types. Um, our learning outcomes will be to understand and how we can apply a data type in our programming. As I said before, uh, C Sharp is a strongly typed language. And what I mean by that is uh, we have to set the type or state the type a variable we declare. Okay, and um, what we've looked at so far uh, is uh, a few of them here. Um, like a program when it's running, kind of keeps all it keeps track of all the data types that go in, like integers, doubles. That's where a fraction, string could be a, you know the name of a person, the street, uh, or the date. The, you know uh, what date uh, it is. So again, it, it, C Sharp as it's running will keep track of data and the type of data that it is. Um, when it comes to declaring a variable, okay, uh, our, when we declare it and when we initialize a variable, the type cannot be changed. So for example, if I were to declare an int and I initialized it to five. Um, I could reinitialize the variable to another int type, like I could reinitialize it to eight or ten or twelve or any other integer, uh, but I cannot change the type from int to double or something like that. So again, that's only when it's declared and initialized. Okay, so let's look at an example. As you can see here, I've uh, I've named I have a variable called some data, and I've set it to true. Now again, this could work in some other language, but not in C sharp. If I uh, I'm working in C sharp, I must declare that as a bool. Uh, you can see here bool, that's the data type. Some data, that's the data name and I've initialized it to true. Again, you can see here I've declared var some data one, two, three, four, five. Now you may see this in, in JavaScript, um, the var keyword. Um, again, the var keyword is supported by C Sharp, uh, but we'll come to this later in the program. Uh, we'll actually do an example of this when we're doing link and, and that. But the var keyword is supported. Uh, when you're declaring and naming variables, okay, so let's uh, look at this. Here's an example. Uh, you can see here I have an integer, a string, and a double. Uh, and you can see there I've declared int my number, and I've set it to 56. And you can see this string, so I've declared uh, the data type. I've called it my name, and I've set it to Damien. Okay, the set to the equal to there is the set to. And you can see there I've declared a double, and I've called it my fraction, and I've set that to 23.75. Okay, so again, it is extremely important uh, that when you're declare, declaring your variable, uh, that you uh, choose the correct data type. There are some rules uh, to this. Okay, names are case sensitive. Uh, so again, capital N-A-M-E, uh, uh, is completely different from lowercase n-a-m-e. Okay, so you have two different variables. You can use both cases, uppercase and lowercase, but again, remember, it is case sensitive, so with a capital uh, is completely different, or a completely different variable than one with a lowercase. Okay, uh, they can have letters, numbers, and underscores. That's uh, Okay, uh, the underscore is distinct from a hyphen, again. Uh, the, uh, you can have up to 255 characters in length, so that's a very long variable name. Uh, again, uh, uh, very rare you'd have to use a variable that long. And, and the last one there, important, it cannot start with a number. Okay, if you feel you have to start it with a number, uh, type out the number, O-N-E. Uh, whatever, T-W-O, T-H-R-E-E, uh, but do not start it with a number, uh, the, the variable itself. 
Uh, next uh, in data types is what I want to talk about is primitive data types. Okay, uh, we've seen a couple already, but uh, what a, basically what a primitive data type is, is a type of data that other types of data are built on. Okay, and I have a few examples here. Uh, you can see there I have an int, which is a four byte or a uh, very long number, a string from zero to two billion characters, the date. Again, uh, it starts at year one and it goes up to uh, 9,999. Um, you can have there a car, which is a single character, but again, C sharp allows two bytes for for this. A bool can only be true or false, and a byte is a number from zero to two five five. You can see there a decimal, uh, sixteen bytes. Again, the large amount of um, of data for that is because, again, when you're using a decimal, um, it's mainly to do with using financial transaction type of thing because again the decimal will work in base 10 uh, as distinct from base 2 and again we'll do an example of that later on in the course uh, you can have a long and you can see there it's an 8 byte number and uh, there's a huge number there I won't even try to uh, read through it okay and the last one there an object which can actually be defined by the program uh, so just uh, there are just a couple of rules to um, the data types that we have in C sharp. Okay, our next, our, and as I said there, uh, to the next uh, a few videos, we'll use these data types. So, and we'll explain about more how they can be used as we come to them in practical examples. Thank you for your attention.